Hello and welcome to the first ever Candy Cabaret makeup tutorial. Alright, first you want to apply Aromalase Voil in white all over your face. It's powder and it's minerals and it's really good for your skin. Uh, please ignore the zit on my chin, I just can't get rid of it. Anyway, so you'll be applying that to your face. It's easy, a light coat will be pretty thick. Next you take silver eyeshadow and apply it over the entire lid, just like this. Sorry if it takes me a little while to get stuff in the camera, I'm, uh, this is my first makeup tutorial. And I also apologize for the silly faces I'm making. I look like a who. Anyway, um, you want- yeah, I had to turn the light on. Um, you want to apply that to both lids, all over the entire lid. Next you want to apply um, metallic maroon cream shadow into your crease about halfway through and blend up and down. Do this on both lids, well on both eyelids, not on both your upper and your lower. You'll do the lower later. And you want to apply a thin coat to your bottom lid on both eyes. Next, I used Aromalay's Rocks Sonic Cosmetics um, eyeshadow in Purple Rain. And you'll be applying that to your outer lid. a little bit, you don't need too much, you just need a little splash of color. This is a modern Marie Antoinette look, so Marie wouldn't have used that much color. I mean, she was very into color, but it was pastels, and this is a little darker, so don't go too heavy with it. You just want a little splash of color on your outer um, lid, like a cat's eye. Next, you want to apply a little bit on your lower lid, just like you did with the maroon cream shadow. I had to touch it up a little bit. Next, you want to apply your blush. I used bright red and applied it very lightly. Sweep it across your cheekbone to your, towards your ear. Next, you're going to draw three eyelashes on your bottom lid. And you're going to apply eyeliner to the outer half of your lid, very, um, not lightly, but not very thickly. Sorry if it's a little dark. I also applied white eyeliner to my waterline later. Next you're going to want to use glittery clear lip gloss. I apply my lip gloss a little funny, I use the stick instead of the brush because I find that there's more on that than on the um, actual foam applicator.
and you're going to want to tap a little bit of your blush onto your lips to make it a little bit almost like a stain. You could also just use glittery red gloss, but I didn't have any. Next, I fixed my brows with some black mascara because I like my brows to be a little bit darker. And then I applied mascara in black. I already said black. Whatever, you get the point. To my upper and lower lashes. I applied it to. You understand what I'm saying. Watching myself put on makeup. This is weird. I had to go find my eyelash glue. Next, you're going to apply a beauty mark, but as you're using a rhinestone, just a clear rhinestone. If I could find it. Just dip it into the um, eyelash glue and then stick it on your face. And you're done. There you go. Bye-bye.